It was here in 1517 on the door of All Saints Church in Wittenberg that Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses, marking the beginning of the Protestant Reformation. Today, the church is a popular tourist attraction. 500 years ago, the town on the Elbe River was considered the spiritual heart of Europe. It was home not only to Martin Luther, but also to his fellow reformer, Philipp Melanchthon. Time appears to have stood still in the old town. Its main landmark is the castle church where Luther lies buried. This former monastery is where he lived for 38 years. The local ruler gave it to Luther as a family home. The rest was made into a lodging house for students and visitors. In the former monastery, what became the Luther House, uh, there was quite a lot of commotion because not only Luther's family with the four children lived there, but also quite a lot of servants and even more important, uh, the students as paying guests. Luther's wife, Katharina von Bora, oversaw all the comings and goings at the house. Students would assemble at his home to listen to the Protestant reformers' famous table talks. And the guests would gather for meals in the refectory. About one and a half hours drive from Wittenberg is the town of Eisleben. This is Martin Luther's birthplace and also where he died. The local copper mines made it a prosperous town. Luther's father worked in the copper trade. It was here from this very pulpit in St. Andrew's Church that Luther preached his last sermons. Martin Luther was born in this house in 1483. It's the oldest historical museum in Germany. Luther's birth house is the, the first memorial place for Luther in Germany. It was already established in 1693 as a memorial place with a museum. And from this time, the house is open to public, to Luther pilgrims from all over the world. The museum features plenty to look at, and for kids, even plenty to taste in the form of a historical meal of bread with honey, butter, and fresh cheese with herbs. Back then, potatoes weren't grown in Germany, and meals were eaten without forks, which were considered a tool of the devil. Next stop is Eisenach in Thüringen, another small town that changed the course of history. At age 15, Luther came here to attend Latin school, he stayed for three years, living in this half-timbered house. At this stage of his life, he was still completely unknown. Twenty years later, he was a famous theologian and dared challenge the authority of the Pope. As a consequence, he was excommunicated in 1521 and sought refuge in Wartburg Castle near Eisenach. Today, it attracts half a million visitors every year. It's one of the oldest and most beautiful castles in Germany and boasts a truly magnificent banquet hall. It was also where the legendary minstrels' contests are said to have taken place. The Luther Room is where the reformer spent just 10 weeks translating the New Testament into German. The first print run of 3,000 copies sold out in three days when it was presented at the Leipzig Fair in September of 1522. The next print run appeared in December. Just before he died, Luther saw the millionth copy of his translation printed. We can assume that anyone between Felsenburg and Tyrol who could read had a copy of Luther's Bible. This is also the room where Martin Luther apparently threw an ink bottle at the devil. Over centuries, pilgrims scratched at the stain on the wall, peeling parts of it off. 
Souvenirs were popular even then. For anyone interested in Martin Luther, a visit to Wittenberg, Eisleben and Eisenach, the backdrops of the Reformation, is a must. <laughs> 